Hi everybody. Hey, we just had a fun time playing out in the desert, but I took Whit on over to Moses Lake to show him some of the fun landing spots we have out along the farm as well. But before the day was done, I put my 170 into a ditch. Come along on the video, see where it happened, how it happened, what we had to do about it. This is a fun little sequence here. I take off, curve turn, do a right 360 to watch Wood take off, and then immediately roll out, lead him in to landing at my home place just a quarter mile away.
end of this narrow gravel road. I can't take off downwind because it's too short. And there's not enough room to turn around. So I taxi to the end, turn 90 degrees, stop, shut down to move the airplane manually around the rest of the turn. Well, when I do, the left main rolls off down into a two foot ditch. The wingtip didn't hit the ground, but I wasn't gonna be able to get it out without myself. I was talking to Wood on the radio. He was looking for a place to land when we saw somebody coming to help. The truck pulled up and the driver and his son climbed out. He goes, you just out having fun? I go, yes, sir, but I sure need some help getting pushed out. They quickly grabbed the truck, pushed up. We were on our way. He sat and watched us take off. Great having friendly farm folks around to always lend a hand. On the way out of town, we overflew Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake, Washington. It is now home to over 250 737 MAXs, and now Delta and United are parking airplanes in there as well due to the coronavirus. Thanks for coming along, everybody. Hopefully you had a good time. Next time, we'll be looking to see if this airplane will maybe fly off a cliff.